two straight championships, which has not been done before. Uh, what was that like? I mean, it's, I've always said it's amazing, you know, I just use that word all the time and all the interviews I've always said it's amazing, but like this one's just different, you know, it's more than amazing. It's a different type of feeling. It's knowing that I'm a senior, knowing that we made history, knowing that we went undefeated and just so much more. It's a crazy feeling. I mean, I don't know, just amazing, you know, it's like a dream. Yeah, I mean, it feels good being, being able to go back to back. I know it feels good being the best. It's not just for us, for the community, you know, for all the little kids that look up to us, and especially for the, the younger guys that, you know, like the sophomores, especially the first two years here and getting a uh, ring back to back. Um, it, it doesn't get old, you know, when these boys come onto the field and, and they perform and they, you know, win and bring the championships back home. You know, it's a great feeling um, and it's addicting. You know, I think the boys see that as well. Um, the more you win, the more you want to win. Yeah, especially because we've grown up playing together. So like, even in club, we've been able to compete with like good teams. Like. When I moved here, going into it, uh, my sophomore year, I saw the potential in everybody, and like, just like my first practice, I knew like we had a really good team, and I believed we could go far. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't here at the middle school, but I, as I transferred in it as a junior, but as a sophomore, you know, coming to the games, you know, the playoff games, you know, I saw that I really wanted to be part of it. And you saw in middle school the makings of what you thought would really be a special group. What exactly did you see with that group, you know, as they were over uh, across the street in South Hall Middle? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, you know, we saw we saw a great passion in their hearts uh, for the game. Um, you know, they're, they're almost obsessed with, with the game and trying to improve and, and become better. Um, so we saw that. Some of these guys, you know, have, have uh, grown up playing um, club soccer as well, which, you know, obviously uh, contributes to their overall talent um, and so we saw that that desire in their heart to be you know the, the game changers for us and so players like George you know Ramon when they were down at the middle school um, you know we could see that that fire um, inside of them and so when they got here you know they were able to do great things for us. There's something in this group in particular that it's always been a group that's so driven that we've all, we've been working since middle school we've been training we've been trying to always get better since 2017, we won at Hall County Championship in middle school. And then that same year, the 2018 high school, they won state. So that meant something for us. I was like, we want to be there. We would step on the field. Like, it was like just one person, not 11 people. I believe it was just one person. And like, we had the same goal and I, we achieved it. Yeah, I feel like, especially this year, being able to go undefeated throughout the whole season. It just really showed how much like chemistry we've, we have compared to like previous years. You know, we just get along, you know, on and off the field and we try to spend time with each other. And, you know, I, I think that helps a lot, especially because, you know, we, we, we get along even with the younger guys. And, you know, we know that we could play around with each other and we don't take it to heart, you know. It makes me like not even talk much because they're already like in the right place at the right time. I think everybody connects pretty good. The way, you know, everybody, I think we're like a big family. Just, like if I, I don't have to tell George to make a run, like it's just so natural to everybody. Everybody just knows the role and what needs to be done. I low key, I was surprised that we were able to finish number one in the nation. Especially since like freshman year, we didn't get to play a big role in that. It just felt like a good opportunity for us to prove. Yeah, you know, those boys came in um, and their freshman season got cut short because of COVID. You know, at that point, we were ranked number one um, in the nation as well. Uh, we came back the, the year after that, their sophomore year. I don't think anybody was really expecting us to make it to, to the championship with the COVID issues we were having um, and, and how young the team was. Well, our sophomore year, we made it to the finals. And after that, it just, like next year, we knew that we were gonna make it again. We had a chance and keep working, we would make it. It was just, no one expected us our sophomore year to make it to the finals. And that just like gave us more hope to want to win the state title. 
Um, but, you know, these boys got to work and, and, and fought hard, made it to the championship, lost the championship, and, and that there was the difference maker. I think making it to the championship game, realizing that we had what it took to get there, but we fell a little bit short so we could see it at the next preseason when we got back to work, they, they had that hunger because they, they got so close but fell short of it. And, and so they, they got back, they worked harder. After that, you know, uh, state champions 22, state champions 23, and it's a full circle because as of now, we're still currently ranked number one in the nation. So it's great for this, this group of seniors and, and the rest of the boys as well to be able to close out number one in the nation. We're standing right now on the 22 yard line of uh, the football field and you can see the net over there. This, uh, you, you had probably the most amazing goal of the season other than say Edgar's in that, that, that free kick in the championship game, which was sick, yeah. but you were standing right here. Uh, walk us through that particular shot. What did you see that made you think you could, you know, I'm taking a run at this? Y'all usually run a set play from this distance, but you ripped it. What did you see? Well, I mean, as soon as I put the ball down, I was thinking about wasting time and then playing it short. But I look up and there's just something, I don't know, something that just told me to shoot it, you know? But I just felt like I could actually score this, you know? No one really feels that, but I felt it that day. And I just put it down. I see that everyone's lined up. I see that open space. And then I just, you know what? I'll just shoot it. So I get back. Yeah, I had a, I had a, it was a bender and then it had to dip down really fast. It was like a certain way that I shot it. Yeah, and. The one that you kind of, through the, through the wall and then that end up giving the game winner. Uh, was that a shot you would have been able to do that? Uh, probably not. I wasn't as like committed to soccer last year as I am this year. I didn't really train as much, but after hanging around with the seniors a lot, you know, they're like one of my best friends. I started training and training and a lot gotten way better, so I was just confident that I would make it. What was it like, you know, knowing you know, you definitely, you know, it was over and you got that goal and that's how you finished your high school career. What was that, that just that moment and the fans going crazy over at McEachern, what was that like? That moment was, I'm probably never going to forget that ever, ever because just scoring that last goal, going to the fans, celebrating and I know that was probably my last run, that was my last run because after that run I was stunned, like I just couldn't run, but <laughs> I remember just scoring it watching it go in and then running to the fans and just looking up and seeing everyone just so happy. It just, and then the team, the bench came to, right. the game wasn't over, the, the whistle wasn't blown yet and the bench ran to us and it was just amazing. It was, I know it's like, it's like literally like a dream, but it really happened, you know. We had a, yeah, like our freshman year, it was Coach Zamora's first year taking over as varsity. And he's definitely improved the soccer program. Like he's brought in, he was tough on us the first couple of years with our grades and like just keeping us on track, you know? And then, yeah, he would always motivate us and then, yeah, encourage us. He brought, the coaches bring the discipline in and they make you feel more like a family. Like, like if you ever need help or you can talk to them, they're always there for you. You feel that's kind of been the key to the whole thing? Um, yes, yeah, that helps a lot. You know, they, they, uh, they take pride in what they do as well. And I feel like they, they really care about us and try to push us to, to our limits. I started from Shirley a couple years back in uh, Zamora. I feel like they, they've done a great job. Uh, and Shirley's back and all the assistant coaches. I feel like they, they each do, do the, their own thing and, and know how to like, really build this team together. Yeah, I believe all the coaches are really good. Uh, starting off with Shirley and then, I mean, I wasn't with him as I transferred in, but Coach Zamora, a great coach, he's always helped us, been really a big part of our success. Well, you know, the guys that came before us have, uh, did a great job of building that foundation, you know, making it to the championship uh, games a, a couple of times, falling short, you know, but I think overall as, as a community, as a program, it just lit that fire in our, in our hearts to continue to work hard and be able to bring that happiness back to our community. Um, and be able to, you know, be, be a contender every year. And, and, you know, I think that our boys have bought into that idea as well, that we play for the community and, and you know, we, we're trying to unite our community under, under soccer. Um, and it adds that motivation, you know, to be able to go out there and, and not just compete um, locally, but uh, in the state as well. And, you know, obviously the boys have done a great job of going back to back state champions this year. 
uh, third championship overall. And again, we're just continuing on, on uh, to build on the foundation that was laid before us. Right, who was the better jersey? No, I think... One on one, who was the better jersey? Seniors. Seniors, for sure. No, but I think they're they, still young, though. They're sophomores, so definitely, like, especially next year, I feel like they'll be ready. Yeah, they have the potential to be uh, as good as us because they already had the experience from the previous year, so. Well, what's coming is, is, is great. It's quality players all across the board, you know. It's from defense, from Mendoza, from Miguel, all those players. I mean, Miguel was a sophomore. And Mendoza was a freshman, and then we have Jordy. We have so much players. I think you know, it's, I it's think been the tradition, you know, the last couple of years of, you know, handing down the, the torch, you know, uh, per se. Our seniors this year, they, they've not done a great job with leadership and obviously with their talent, right? But it's time for them to hand that over to the next group that will carry the torch and, and lead the program. You know, you mentioned players like Alex Gonzalez, who's a, just a sophomore, uh, Danny Trujillo, another sophomore, Haile Chavez, sophomore. We're still very young, uh, but those guys got a lot of experience. Uh, Edgar obviously having a, a breakout season um, this year. Um, we're, we're expecting great things out of him, Julian, uh, Pimentel, and, and, and the list goes on. Um, and it's going to be their turn to, to carry the torch and, and carry this program into, you know, continue to carry this program to, to the next level, to the next 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 goals. Um, and it's been like that every every so every, every couple years. You know, we have that, that handing of the torch for the next group. Um, you know, I'm confident that uh, the, the program will continue to, to grow. These guys will you know, step up and, and lead the program into the next step. I feel like they're, they're very hungry and, you know, want to keep this going, not just uh, one next year, but the following year and keep going. Uh, I believe, yeah, they want it really bad. I think they're going to keep working hard and they definitely want to win again. Does, does that give you any extra motivation to try to make sure that you do what you need to do in the offseason? Uh, to me, it does. I don't know about the rest of them, but to me, yeah, I don't want to be the team to not make it, you know, the team to, I guess, be the loser team, you know, be known as that. I want to win another ring with my family. I don't know, just, I'm going to have, I'm going to be older, so it's not, I'm not going to be as shy, so I feel like I probably have more leadership, probably communicate a lot more, probably me and Edgar take over a lot of that. Talk more. Are you at the? Is this? Are y'all in the middle of a dynasty run here, at Johnson, or is this just the beginning? No, we're for sure in the middle. I, I, I can't forget about the past players, 2014, 2018. I mean, all the past years, there's been quality players all, and I've heard about them. I've, I've grown up looking up to them and just always watching them. And it's, I, it's for sure not the beginning, but you know, I think we still, we still have a, a couple years to go. You know, obviously, when you look at at teams like Dalton and and Westminster. Um, you know, teams that won it 14, eight times, you know, um, it's, it's, we're not there yet, but that's definitely the goal. You know, we, we have three now, uh, one back to back, um, but the goal, you know, is for us to continue to, to compete every single year for a state championship. So, you so know. you're not ready to put dynasty on it yet? We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit of both because in the past we've, we've had great guys, you know, starting from the, the 2014 when they made it to the final in 16. Now up to 18 when they were, uh, they actually won it, and after that I feel like we built momentum. Um, I think it's it's been building up throughout the years. I feel like we just I gave think it's it. the middle. Yeah, we definitely gave it a head start. So to like build. Disappointed if they don't carry this on next year. I mean, as long as they try. Yeah, well, I mean, hopefully they do. Final four, or final appearance is good. As long, or even if they win, it's still crazy. Yeah, I believe, uh, just like Christian said, a great group of guys that came before us, multiple, and I think we're just trying to carry on the legacy that Johnson has here. Well, we're standing on uh, the dungeon. Uh, incredible atmosphere for soccer around here. What, what's it like playing here? Uh, because there really aren't too many other places uh, during the soccer season where you see the atmosphere that goes on here. I've played in club, I've played in um, many, many areas and it's never been like this, how it gets like here. The fans, the atmosphere, you just, as soon as you get out the locker room, you just feel that, that butterflies in your, in your stomach, knowing that you get to play in front of all these people and make them happy and them cheering, them screaming your name, them screaming Johnson. It's just something else and they've, they've been a big part of why we win and like there's games that they've been the reason. It's a special place when you're at home uh, here at Johnson. Correct. Yeah, no, our fans do such a great job of, of, you know, coming out and supporting the boys, filling up the stands. You know, we have we have a, a tailgate before the games. 
um, definitely the, our fans are the 12th, 12th guy on our team. You know, um, they, they bring the energy, they bring the excitement, um, and they add that extra motivation for our boys to come out and perform. You know, I think our community and our team are one. Uh, congratulations on the, the title this year. Good luck. All right, That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. George, good luck, and uh, we appreciate all the moments that we got to see here. It was a lot of fun. So, yes, sir. good luck in the future. Thank you so much.